I'm Giles Wallace. I'm an art director with Brand Hive. My name's Erica, and I'm the senior um, art director here. I'm Nate Peterson. Um, I'm a designer here at Brand Hive. Uh, my name is Meet Nagar, and uh, I'm a marketing assistant. So what we do initially is we look at some different concepts that we have seen at trade shows and then we bring in a couple of vendors and I kind of search them out and uh, we kind of explain to them, you know, our brand story, what this company is and, uh, you know, what, what we are trying to accomplish by having this booth. I get involved after the booth structure has been chosen by the client. Uh, so they can choose whatever structure they would they, they like or what fits their needs. And then I'm brought in and I give a visual appeal to whatever structure they, they choose. Um, what, their, what their main message for their company or product needs to be, because a booth is big, it needs to be bold, and it, should only give one or two messages. You have to think about the space and your environment, um, how people are going to use the booth, um, how they're going to be able to move through the booth, how to draw people in. I think uh, it's to find a design, find renderings or find a style of booth that uh, stands out at a trade show that's not the you know the same it's uh because you know everybody does a pop-up and everybody does uh you know similar types of boots so we want to give something to them that stands out design wise that accomplishes um you know where we can place good creative on there and it you know it just it makes them stand out at the show so you're working in this industry that everyone's targeting the same um, audience, targeting the same ingredients, targeting the same issues, and so a lot of the imagery is going to be the same. So you've got that additional problem, how do you stand out in your visuals, uh, in your messaging, so that you don't look just like your competitors. Um, you know, ingredients can be powder, and it's not very visually interesting sometimes so we always have to think about where does it come from you know natural elements and uh, images of people and the end consumer which sometimes can be um, hard to find and um, you want something to stand out from the competition <laughs>